He was looking at Cain and Abel. You know, on the soft, he did the same thing. Uh, Abel was uh, sheep, so he brought from his from, from what he had. Uh, Cain, in a sense, was a farmer. He brought from what he, you know. Uh, but there was something wrong about Cain's offering, and Cain knew what was wrong. Right? We don't know. I mean, we have given different explanations as to what Cain did wrong. But none of us can say we're accurate. Because there's no way in the Bible that God said, this is what I wanted Cain to do, and Cain did otherwise. You know, we have used this day, it is Jesus Christ. We have said several things. Right? But we see in the law that God had received offerings of farm life. So it wasn't as if God did not receive offerings of farm life. Right? We don't know exactly what it was that Cain did wrong. We only give our own different understanding. But the important thing was that Cain knew what he did wrong. Because God came to Cain and said, ah, if you have done the right thing now, you, uh, your offering will have been accepted. But you didn't do the right thing, and you're still expecting me to receive your offering. So whatever it is that Cain did wrong, he knew what was wrong. But he was trying to make God accept what he wanted to give to God, not and the way he wanted to give it to God, not what God had stipulated should be done. Whatever it is that Cain Abel did right, he did it according to what God asked of him to do. So both of them were given an offering. One was doing it according to the will of God. The other was doing it according to his own way. On the surface, they both gave. Underneath the surface, one was doing the will of God. The other person was doing what he wanted to do. So it wasn't about the quantity. It wasn't about what they gave. It was about the attitude. Right? It was about the disposition of the heart. Same thing God told Moses. Moses on the mountain, God told Moses exactly how he was to build the temple. And God said it so many times. Make sure you do it according to what you have said. Make sure you do it according to. Because it's critical. When we work with God, it's not just about doing. It's about being accurate. Our work with God is accurate, not just doing. It's not just doing. It's not just movement. It's the accuracy of what we are doing. Are we doing it according to what he has said we should do? Or we are doing it according to the way we feel it should be done? 